Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an SQL Lite server on Ubuntu running on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed SQL Lite 3 server installed in it. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and then choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. Leave the network settings as default and simply click on accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is done, the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of a newly created virtual machine. For that, simply click on this SSH button over here. Now this is going to open up a new window which is going to connect to the SSH service of our virtual machine. Now inside this SSH terminal, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to verify the version of SQLite. For that, simply type in the command SQLite 3 space double hyphen version and then hit enter. So as you can see that we are currently running the version 3.31.1. Now to open up the SQLite shell, we simply type in the command SQLite 3 and then hit enter. And if you want to exit from the shell, we type in dot exit and then hit enter. Now if you want to create a new database, for example, we want to create a database for cars. And if you want to open up an already existing database, for example, cars, then we can simply use the command SQLite 3 and then the name of the database that we want to create or open and then dot db. So this is going to open up the SQL Lite sheet, but this time around the connection is with cars.db. Now to verify this, we simply type in .databases and then hit enter. This actually shows us the linked databases. So as you can see that the database is cars.db. Now we are going to create a table. To create a table and to follow along with this tutorial, what you can do is that you can click the link in the description box to come to this step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up SQL Lite server on GCP and from here, you can simply copy this command to create a table for cars which includes its ID, car make, car model and car size in centimeters and simply paste it inside the SQL shell. So I have already created this table that is why I get this that the table car already exists. However, if you want to insert data into this table, what you can do is that you can insert three rows of data or three records by using these commands. As you can see that the command is insert into and then the table name which in our case is cars and then you use the keyword values and within the parentheses you type in the values for each individual column. Anyways, copy these three records and paste it inside the SQL shell and then hit enter. And our data has been inserted inside the tables. Now to retrieve data from the table, what you can do is that you can simply copy this command which returns all of the data from the cards table. So paste that in and hit enter. So you can see that we have the ID, the make, the model and its length. Again, to exit from the SQLite shell, we simply type in .quit or .exit and then hit enter. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up SQLite server on Ubuntu on Google Cloud Platform and also for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.